Hey guys, welcome back. So it's me, Miss, or you can say Zomi, since I changed my name a few days ago. So for my video today, a few days ago, oh sorry, a couple days ago, I already post on my Twitter and my on my YouTube community that I will do a Q and A video for my 500 sub special. So this is it. I will answer all the questions you give to me and I try my best to give my best opinion and my best answer to answer all of it. Alright, before we start, I want to thank you for all of you for those who support me from zero subs until this until this point. I, until I can unlock my uh, community tab and I can post anything I, can, I want into my community tab YouTube. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump to the first question. So, my, the first question is, uh, what is your favorite artifact sets? All right. So this is, I guess, uh, this is a very tough question. Uh, my favorite artifact set is I don't, I didn't figure out it yet, but as long it's still, it's still an ele elemental damage, such as, uh, such as a uh, crimson of witch, uh, blizzard strayer, thundering fury. Uh, and so on i guess that is it is fine by me yeah as long the the artifact sets deals with elemental damage uh, give the bonus damage to our elemental character i guess that is fine yeah so until now until ar until ar 56 i still didn't figure out my favorite artifact sets all right move on to the next question which character would you like to meet the most in real life and why Alright, so this is, I guess, this is, for this question, I guess it doesn't count whether it is man or it is of a uh, girl character. So, uh, which character would I like to meet in the most in real life and why? So, uh, this option, I guess, um, my choice is Yoimiya, because why? Uh, Yoimiya is the best character I have ever met so far because she is very energetic and cheer cheerful beautiful and I, I really love her I, I really love her giggles yeah so that's it why I really love her. I really love one to make you and in real life and why also she also can deal with child I mean not not child uh, for two but child you know child Children, ah, children. That's it. Yeah, she always know how. She always know the way how to make the children happy, right? Just, just in a, just remember the quest between Yoimiya and Klee. She really know how to make how to cheer Klee up, right? So, that's the second question. Move to the third question. What do you? What do I think the developers should offer of Genshin should introduce to make the game more relaxing and friendly F2P? Alright, move to the next questions. What do I think developers of Genshin should introduce and make game more F2P friendly and relaxing? My opinions on Eula not meta-wise but character-wise. Alright, so this topic is... The first one is kind of hot topic. I also agree with that. Uh, so my answer my answer for the first question is i had a three point the first point in about the commission rewards the commission rewards so basically when we complete the commission we get 10 10 right 10 each and after after we complete all the commissions we got 20 extra from after after we claim it from catching from the adventure guilds so total we get for a uh, a day is 60 primo gems right all right so my suggestions is uh, my suggestion is I think developers should increase the rewards of the primo gems for each commissions for example this is my humble opinion only I hope you're not offended to what I, I hope you are not of offended to uh, my opinion is uh, the the reward for the each commission should be increased to 30 each I mean every time we complete the commissions we each commissions we get 30 promotions and 
after we climb after we climb at the from Catherine at the adventure skill we should get 50 promo gems so that means total uh, around 170 or uh, 170 or or so or close close seem close to it right yeah so that's my first point so that's my first point for the commission rewards the second this, my second point is about the even rewards even rewards so I think the valid push should inc also increase the the primo gem rewards for even like for example at this rate we only get 40 60 primo gems per reward right so I guess the developer should increase it from 40 60 until 80 to 100 primo gems for each for each task of the event we completed right yeah so I guess that's it my point and my third point is about the spiral base yep the spiral base the spiral base so for those who already completed uh, the spiral base until the 8th uh, floor floor 9 chamber 3 F oh no floor 8 chamber 3 you will be reset you will be enter the floor 9 chamber 1 so that is the the beginning of your abyss until for for each version for each for each patch reset so on my opinion on this on my opinion for this topic is uh, I guess the developer also should increase the reward reward the primo gems the primo gem rewards for example for for floor 9 for floor 9 we only get uh, 150 primo gems total right if we get all the three star three stars complete right so I guess the developer should increase it from 150 uh, from 50 each floor to I guess to 200 probably yeah 200 each floor so in case we can get we can get 600 for all for all for the three star we get from from the from floor 9 until floor yeah floor 11 but until but starts entering the floor 12 i guess the developer should increase it from 200 until to 300 primo gems each floor each floor i mean yeah each floor so i guess we can get uh, 900 primo gems total on the floor 12 since the spiral abyss not not everyone can tackle the spiral abyss even myself didn't tackle the spiral abyss yet spiral abyss yet so i guess that is my point for the what the developer should offer to the what the developer should introduce to make the game more f2p friendly and relaxing yeah and also in my opinion i also want the devel developer should reduce the <laughs> the total primo gems consume uh, for the each 10 pulls from 100 1000 1600 to but i guess there is not necessary because I, I guess the price is just right just right all right all right next is my opinions my opinion on eula not meta wise but character wise all right uh, this regarding the eula right the character eula many people or many players want want to get her and i i also already saw uh, a couple of players that been meaning eula in my world so so i had to admit that eula is really good for the cryo dps and sub dps since her burst is really good yep the her boss is really good especially can deal until 1 1k damage yeah i had i had to agree that so in my opinion eula should be stay as the met as the meta wise not the character wise right so i guess that's all that's all i can answer for now right i regarding the meta or not meta i can answer that properly sorry about that all right for the for those who are questioning this i'm sorry about that so move on to the next questions 
do you do I see myself playing Genshin in 10 years um, I guess this question is a little tough since uh, I'm not playing each game I've been playing uh, not long last for until until four to five years but now but there is one game I've been stuck on until now it is named Mobile Legends Bang Bang yeah uh, I started playing that game from 2017 and I still playing it now and so for this question probably I will stay I will still playing Genshin in 10 years ahead yeah I was still playing Genshin in 10 years ahead why because Genshin is such a game for a relaxing if you play it for plot if you play it for the story the law uh, the scenery not for the gacha only not for the character simping only <laughs> yeah I guess I can I I can stay with Genshin 10 years ago 10 years ahead since this I, I had to admit because of Genshin I had to stop the ML for a long period of time yeah so that's it uh, I will I will say it again I will play Genshin in 10 years ahead and why because uh, each uh, I guess I really want to saw the reunion of the siblings and in the end in the end of the story so I guess no matter how long it takes I will stay playing Genshin alright so I guess that's it for my Q&A video for this moment I'm sorry if I can I can answer your question properly I'm sorry if I'm not uh, if if I'm English is not good as you as well but I try my best to speak and do this voice reveal for you and that's all that's it for you guys so I hope you like this video don't forget to give it like share comment and if you like this my channel don't don't forget to give it a subscribe right don't hit don't forget to hit the subscribe bell for the for my channel right hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can should you don't miss any upload from my channel next time right so before I continue so before I closing I want to finish up this first That's it for today guys, see you again on the next video, bye, love you.